Laura, congratulations. Meeting record, national record, 13th fastest in history. You must be over the moon. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm so, so happy. I, I didn't expect that at all. I mean, it's a bit tired of travelling, so I didn't really know what I was going to do today. I just wanted to be competitive with the other girls. And, but to run that time, I'm just so, so shocked, but it's amazing. Though. Were you aware you were running so fast during the race? Were you, you thinking about it? Not really. I, mean, I knew I went 300 in about 2829. Um, so that was about four minutes pace, so I didn't really expect to take five seconds off, so to do that I'm just, yeah, it's just a shock, but it's, uh, no, it's a great pleasure as well. So coming into the last lap or at 800 metres, what was going through your mind, was it to sit back and, and it was going to be more tactical or were you thinking, right, push on now? Yeah, no, I always, I, third lap was always on the pace slow, so I just knew I had to push that third lap, um, and then once I did that, um, just match trying to hang on for the, for the last 300 metres, I managed to do it, and uh, yeah, it's just great. So you've won two Diamond Leagues now, it's two meeting records in the Diamond League as well. It takes you your, your second place, is six points I think, or eight points between yourself and Kip Yegon. If you win in the final, you'll take home the Diamond Trophy. Yeah, that's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, I never even thought about that before. So, um, yeah, I mean, it won't quite make up for real, but it would certainly, certainly be a good boost. So what kind, of, what kind of thing we do to celebrate the end of the season? You've had a great year so far, but what kind of, what have you missed out on, uh, because you've been focusing on the Olympics and the Diamond Leagues? I guess I've just missed sort of seeing my friends and family. I've been away from home a lot, so it's nice to spend a few days with them. And I've actually got a better placement booked for <laughs> my couple of weeks off running, so um, not too much of a break, but that's how I, I love it. And so, yeah. So you, you mentioned it there, you're still doing university work as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you think once once you've uh, graduated, will you focus purely on the track or will you keep that as a bit of a grounding? Yeah, I think I'd like to keep better going as a bit of a grounding. It's, it's a good sort of distraction keeps you in a bit of a routine as well so I'd love to do like some volunteer work maybe or something just to kind of keep my hand in it as it were until, uh, until I come back to it after my running. Well, well done Laura and uh, we'll see you in the final.